Myths about PCOD. All PCO patients are obese. No, my friends, it's important to know that 50% can have obese PCOD. However, rest of them can have lean PCOD as well. Every PCOD patient will have difficulty in conceiving. No, it's seen that 70% have anovulatory cycles where they do not release the egg in every cycle. Still, majority of them conceive spontaneously or on minor treatment. You need to know that every time the ultrasound is not going to show PCOD. Only 20% cases show PCO on an ultrasound. It's not necessary to have excess facial hair or irregular cycles to have PCO. We need to know that the Rotterdam criteria says that any two out of three, if present, labels a patient as PCOD. That is, number one, having delayed cycles or irregular cycles. Number two, having all the symptoms which show increase of the male hormones in the body. And number three, showing polycystic ovaries on ultrasound. So any two out of these three, if present, label a person as PCOD. Also, it's important to know that PCOD treatment is not only required when you are planning conception. However, you need to treat PCO patients as they increase the risk of diabetes, hypertension, heart problems, infertility and even endometrial cancer in the future. So friends, if you are suffering from any of the above problems, kindly meet your gynecologist to take treatment for the same.